organization is responsible really for the cloud operating model at VMware. And my organization is comprised of people that manage cloud infrastructure, tenants operations, and tenant operations, I should say, and applications operations, as well as some of the traditional IT functions. But we do have a cloud operating cloud operating model construct as our backbone for how we deliver our IT services today. I think that people are generally dealing with the same types of complexities and challenges and pressures as, as everybody else. I think where people are struggling now is, is less around technology. I think we've proven at this conference here that the technology is there. The technology is an enabler. It's there. It's almost an implementation detail. Uh, now it's a, lot of, it's a lot of it's around the people aspects, the organizational aspects, and how do you take an organization that's traditionally built in a you know, sort of a in a certain way and how do they fundamentally change to deliver services in a new way, um, no longer being, out, being able to hide behind the complexities of you know, large back-end uh, complex IT infrastructures. Right. Well, I think it's only going to continue to expand. I think, you know, yesterday at the keynote we saw some great examples of you know, what we're doing with NSX, um, virtualizing the network, and you're seeing the network move from the physical layer into the virtual layer, and I think in cloud operations, you know, we have a tenant operations, a tenant operations organization, and I think you're going to see more and more services come into the tenant operations organization, um, and think as things become more and more controlled through software through the physical versus through the physical. Layer.